Hi everybody, so today I'd like to show you some back bends. Back bends are really important in yoga to give flexibility to the spine to support. Um, make sure you do your back bends later on in your practice when the body is fully warmed up. So we're going to begin just for a few moments to sit in quiet mind, preparing for our practice. Sit tall, shoulders down and relaxed. Focus purely on your breathing and nothing else. And allowing your eyes to open. So, as I said today, we're going to show you some back bends. Make sure you've done a warm up before you attempt these. Maybe some some salutations. So the first one we're going to practice is the crescent moon pose. Coming up onto your knees, bringing your right foot forward. We're going to take the left leg back, so almost like a lunge. You're taking your left knee back, so there's a nice space between the heel and the left knee. Breathing in, lengthen your arms up towards the ceiling, exhaling, reclining, taking your body back. Breathing in, coming forward, exhaling, releasing. So only hold the posture for as long as you feel comfortable. If you can bring your palms together when your arms are extended at the top, you can do. So breathing in, breathing out. Second back bend I'm going to show you today is camel pose. So camel pose, if you're a beginner to yoga, practice the camel pose with support here in the sacrum and just reclining the body back to wherever you can. And if you've been practicing for some time, you can take the body all the way back Relaxing the face and then to come out, coming forward, supporting here and resting for a few seconds here on the heels. So coming down to your mat, <coughs> next pose is locust pose. Bringing your body down with your hands by your side, palms facing up. Breathing in as you breathe out, lift the spine, lift the front part of your body and your legs. Taking your fingers back so the shoulder blades are coming towards each other. Shins are pointing down, make sure the legs don't roll out. Again, holding for 10 seconds, exhale and rest. Take the face to one side. Bringing your chin back to your mat. Let's practice that one more time. Resting on the opposite side next time. From 
here, we're going to practice bow pose. So bringing the heels towards the buttocks, grab hold of your ankles or your trousers or whatever you can reach. So from here, breathing in as you breathe out, lift the thighs off the floor, lift the chest and hold. Releasing, coming down to the floor. You can rest a few moments in crocodile pose here with your feet pointing out to the sides, forehead going to the forearms. Take a few breaths. And breathing out, releasing. We're going to come up and onto your back for the final pose, which is bridge pose. So lie down bend your knees and bring them hip width apart with your hands down by your side. Breathing in, as you breathe out, lift the thighs away from your mat. Chin is to the center, try not to move the head. So we are either staying here, or if you want to increase that stretch a little, we're going to take the hands underneath the spine, bring the elbows in. We're going to hold here. Holding for 10 seconds. Make sure the knees are not rolling out to the sides. And slowly Releasing the spine, bringing your body down. Bring the knees to the chest, hug them tightly, rock gently side to side. So, I hope you enjoy those back bends today, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.